There are some people you just know by their first name. Pele, Tiger, and Lisa Lot Neumann, just as Lisa Lot. And she burst on the scene in our national consciousness in 1988. She won the U.S. Women's Open, and nobody ever looked better doing it. <laughs> she won 13 times on the LPGA Tour. She won 25 times overall. Five times on the Solheim Cup, or was it six? Mm, yeah. Six, yeah, five yeah. or six <laughs> in the World Cup of Golf with Annika in 2006. Yep. She was Rookie of the Year in, in uh, 1988. She won the British Open in 1994. When they didn't call it a major, I have news for everybody. If that's not a major, there's no such thing as a major when the oldest championship in the book is played. Hello, Lisa Lott. Hi. I'm so glad to see you. Yeah, nice to be here. We were talking just before we sat down and we looked at each other and said, I had no idea it would be like this here. <laughs> I know, this. it's an amazing event. I, I feel like I'm at a professional golf tournament, you know, with just the way everything is set up for the players and, and the golf course. It's, um, it's a major golf course, I think. I'm kind of glad I actually don't have to play this course because <laughs> it looks awfully difficult, but... Um, but it's a beautiful place and, you know, with all the volunteers and just the whole setup, it's fantastic. There's something else. I mean, when you won the Open, little girls wanted to be like you. They, they wanted to win the Open. They wanted to look like you. They wanted to play all over the world like you. I mean, you influenced a lot of people to play the game that have become stars. So you really get the whole international deal. And, the other night when I was over at the, the Camp Olympia, and you were there too, it was the most amazing thing. You know, all these people sitting around picnic tables, essentially, just eating yeah. food out yeah. of a buffet. But there was this incredible communal feeling and, and, and a reminder that golf is a universal language. Yeah. No, it's, uh, I mean, I think that's what golf is all about, right? For, you know, you get to travel and, and you get to, you know, do what you love most to play golf and you get to compete against all these different countries and but you know in the evenings we're we're kind of you know you're competitive on the golf course but in the evenings we're all sort of friends and it's kind of fun that you can hang out together and you you can have dinners together and you can play games together and you know you're watching all these kids who are playing basketball and and ping pong and and you know, pool and everything. It's uh, it's just fun to see everybody just sort of socialize, and it's it's all about you know doing what you love most, but also you know you make a lot of friends and but still be competitive. So it's it's just a great great event and, and a great game. And the field, you got we got 80 players from 20 countries. Mm -hmm. 76 of them are national champions yeah. or the number one yeah. ranked player. I mean, it's a startling display of talent, yeah. and it's kind of. I mean, think of the people who've played here before. I mean, Alexi, who came back this mm -hmm. week, and, and Lorena played here, and Martin yeah. Keimer, and Charles Schwartzel, and Jason Day. I mean, the Molinari yeah. brothers. Yeah. What would you think of Lexi coming back on Monday, doing the opening speech? She stayed for the practice round Tuesday. Yeah. She stayed for, well, I think you, yeah. you played on, uh, on when she was here on Wednesday yeah. uh, for nine holes. Yeah. She stuck around. Pretty cool. I yeah. mean, everybody, it was a little disruptive, yeah. I know, but pretty good. <laughs> it was pretty cool. I, you know, that was, it was really neat to see. And I, I think she actually enjoyed coming back and, and being there. And, and you can see, uh, you know, the U.S. players, they get to play the practice round. She, she even played in the practice round with them. And, you know, and just having her around, and it's, um, you know, I think it was a great experience for their whole team. And, and fun for all the other kids from you know from all the different countries to 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 see that she actually she, she's a real person you know she won this last the last time they played and, and she was here and you know it, it was it was pretty neat she doesn't see. know yet that she's sort of got all of this weight on her shoulder she <laughs> somehow it hasn't registered or it doesn't bother her that you know everybody's going to be the next savior or something you know tiger stopped playing well mm -hmm. who was going to be the next superstar but in her case, I mean, at 16 years old, winning an LPGA event by yeah. five shots, she's six feet tall, she hits at 295 yards, and yeah. she's gonna grow another couple of inches. <laughs> if she, my view is, and I want your view, of course, mm. I think the way that Yanni gets popular is if she's playing with Lexi on Sunday afternoons, because people will turn in for Lexi, but they'll start to know Yanni, and right now, people mm -hmm. don't have a good feel for her yet. Yeah, yeah that's, it's, that's always the hard part, I think, for 
um, for people that are watching on TV to sort of get to know the players, right? And obviously the best way is to get out to the tournaments where you actually get to sort of, you know, get close to them and, and watch them in action. But um, yeah, it's always hard to to get to know players only on TV and, um, you know, that's, um, um, you know, I think some, some people have uh, something about them, you know, just if it's, if it's looks or just the way they play the game and, and uh, it's always hard to pinpoint out what it is to, that makes um, someone just a superstar, except that they, you know, they play the game well, but you also got to have, um, you know, something special about you. So I noticed from your tan, it reminds me that you're living in San Diego as opposed to Pinspang. <laughs> Good move, right? <laughs> I like California. I spend uh, a lot of time in, uh, in Palm Springs, too. And, uh, you know, I get to play a little golf out there, get to do some hiking, and um, just uh, get to enjoy life. Are you a happy girl? Yeah, very happy. <laughs> what do you think of this golf course? I, I mean, I can't believe how difficult the greens are. It doesn't seem unfair in any way, though, does it? I don't think it's unfair at all. Um, I think yesterday was just so difficult. We, we had those really strong winds, and just some of the pin positions were, they were just in such a difficult places, but because I think because of the winds, you know, a lot of the shots had to come in. You have to keep the ball a little lower in the wind, but where the pins were, you couldn't really keep the ball low because then you couldn't stop the ball. You actually had to hit some high shots to be able to, you know, get close to some of the holes. and. I think the combination of, of that wind and the pins yesterday, it, it made it really, really hard. So, but I think on a day like today, you know, you had the perfect conditions and, you know, you saw the scores today are, are much, much better. And I mean, these kids, they're, they're great players. It's really impressive to be out there watching them. I mean, they, they hit some shots that, that you, you can't really even imagine hitting, you know, I mean, they're, they're well, really you good. You can imagine. I can imagine. You can imagine. You won the Opens. I mean, how can you not imagine? Nobody can if you can. Tell me about the kids on your team. Um, well, I got, um, obviously, the two two girls. Um, they go to school here in the U.S., um, one in California and one in uh, Louisiana. Um, I think they're both um, very good players. Um, you know, we uh, were here, and I got some help from the, the Swedish golf team. So, you know, we tried to help them out, um, maybe not so much. I mean, a little bit with their, with their swings, but more with the, the preparation. And um, I, I, for me, I helped them a little bit, maybe with the short game, with the putting, and maybe more the mental part of the game. You know, a little bit how to, to uh, think and kind of prepare yourself and kind of be ready for the different shots and so on. And, and the two boys, um, um, one boy, Robert, he's uh, in school in Virginia at Liberty, and um, um, he's a very, very good player, I think. I mean, he's already developed to be a phenomenal play. I mean, you can watch his game. His, he, um, he hits the ball great. He keeps the ball in play the whole time. He has a great putting stroke. He's, um, he's come a long way, and he's already had some great tournaments. And um, um, our fourth uh, on our team is Victor, and he still uh, lives in Sweden. He's only 17, but he's going to be a really good player. He hits the ball a long way, and um, so far, you know, it goes a little bit out of control once in a while, but, you know, he's so young, and he's really learning uh, a lot about the game, I think. And, you know, you can see the comparison with someone who's 17 to 23, just the way they think and how they play the golf course and, and how they can um, uh, adjust to uh, the different yardages, you know, to, to have the, uh, the length control on their shots and so on. I think that's really important. That's something you learn from playing more and so on. And I think when he kind of gets to that time in his, uh, his life, you know, maybe in a, in a year or two when he starts learning how, you know, to, how to work the ball and how to hit all those little shots, he's, he's going to be a very, very good player. Does it sometimes happen, Lisa, a lot that a young player will come to you, you'll see them play, and they'll say, I want to be the best player in the world, and you know that they're not going to make it on tour, perhaps. What, what, what do you say? I mean, do you say, do you tell the truth? Do you say, maybe this isn't happening? Do you encourage people to chase their dreams? It's a, it would be a tough position, I would have thought, for you to be in, because you know the answer. <laughs> 
Well, it's tough to say. I, think. I mean, it depends on what age they're in. I mean, I think because with golf, you can, you know, you, you don't have to be a top player when you're 20. I mean, I think you can still uh, reach your dreams and, you know, because with golf, you can play till you're, you know, till you're 50 on, on a very high level, maybe even more. <laughs> but it's, um, you know, I, I think you would always encourage someone to, to try to reach their dreams and, you know, I think with hard work and, you know, you, you can go a long way. Maybe, I mean, it's hard to say who's actually going to become number one and who's going to be, you know, you can still have a great career as a, as a golfer and enjoy the game. And even if you're 50th, right, on the on the money list or the 50th best player in the world. So, um, you know, it, it, the margins, I think, between being 50 or, or number one, it's, it's pretty small. It's so you nice know? to see you again. You know, we Thank talked you. when I first saw you the other day about the first time we met on the range at yeah. uh, Grand Cypress, and yeah. um, that was in that was a long time it ago. It was a long you time. You were a very little girl, and I was a very yeah. little boy. Thanks for today. I'm Thank so you. glad Thank to see you. you.